Hey, what's up with you guys? Uh, today I want to answer a question that I received via Uniswap ROI, one of the users. Um, by the way, if you don't know what Uniswap ROI is, it's a tool to uh, track and manage your liquidity in uh, Uniswap. If you're a liquidity provider, uh, check it out, it's free. And by the way, within the tool, once you create your analysis, you can always connect with me uh, here via Telegram or you can follow me on Twitter, you can send me uh, a message on Twitter if you have questions. Anyway, so the user uh, asked me, what happens if I invest in Uniswap and let's say I invest in an Ethereum token pool, what happens is the value of the token tanks down to, I don't know, so, uh, let's say minus 90%. Would I lose my Ethereum that I put as a quote unquote collateral as, uh, alongside with the token? And so I wanted to walk you through a real example with real numbers. I put here some, uh, whatever, some charts for you. There's a little bit of math just to remind ourselves what, how the way uh, Uniswap works. I hope this is, um, is going to be useful, not be too complicated. So, uh, okay, let's start with a case, real case scenario. I mean, the numbers will be a little extreme, like minus 90% is a little extreme, but you never know, you know, with all these tokens that are coming out. I just want you guys to understand what you're doing when you're investing in Uniswap. So, the idea here is that uh, there is a pool and this pool has, um, uh, well, th th there is a token, Ethereum pool, the token price in US dollars is $10, Ethereum price, let's say, is four, uh, $400, that's more or less what it is today. Then we have a pool. Now, as you know, like when you create a pool, you need to put 50-50 assets uh, in terms of their relative value. So we're going to put, or there's, you know, in this pool, let's say there is, is seeded with 4,000 tokens and 100 Ethereum. Uh, each of them is worth $40,000, right? 100 times 400, 40,000, and 4,000 times 10 is 40,000. Now, by the way, if you are familiar with the way Uniswap works, the uh, market-making function of Uniswap, which is this uh, X times Y equal to K, X is the uh, size of the token pool, so it's 4,000. Y is, it, uh, is the size of the Ethereum pool, so in this case, 100. And K is the product of the two, so it's 400,000. Now, before diving in like the scenario, what happened, you know, if the price changes, you just want you to remind you um, a little bit of the, of the formula here. So the constant product, S time Y equal K, that's what we saw. The price obviously is the, is the ratio between the two, right? Um, so for example, a, in this case, uh, uh, is essentially um, uh, 10 divided by 400 is 0 0.025. Uh, and then the token pool size is X, uh, now here, those formula, you basically derive them from the derivative of the function. But anyway, so the, um, given that the, the, the constant product is always constant, now when the ratio, when the price changes, the pool size uh, changes this, uh, in this fashion. So X is equal to the square root of K times the price, and the Y is equal to the square root of K divided by the price. Now, I want to walk you through what happens step by step if the price, for example, of this token goes from the initial scenario where in which is 10 to $10 to the final scenario where is one, right? And let's assume that the Ethereum price stays the same, okay? Uh, so as, as we said, let's walk through the initial scenario. So the price of the two, 0 0.025, 10 divided by 400. Uh, we said the Ethereum pool is 100, uh, token pool is 4,000, uh, invariance is 400,000. Now, if the price of the of the token becomes one, then the price is one divided by 400, 0 0.0025. And then let's see what happens to the Ethereum pool. Now the Ethereum is 32 because it's the square root of 400,000 times 0 0.0025. Token pool similarly 12,649 and K, which is again, the product of this two unsurprisingly stays this constant because by definition that's a constant, right? So basically we transform the pool from yeah, state initial to the final state. So the, the K is the same, but the mix in the pool you see is a change pretty dramatically. Now, when we see, let's take a look at the mix. So at the beginning we had 4,100 Ethereum. Now we end up with 12,032 Ethereum. So basically what happens is the mix within the pool changes when, as price changes. And basically you end up having more of the asset that lost value and less of the asset that accrued value relative to the other, okay? So uh, answering to the question, I mean, am I sort of putting my ether at stake when I put them in a pool alongside with a token? Absolutely, yes. So if, and by the way, this is a little extreme scenario, the token lost 90%, so, and we're gonna see in a second why this is called permanent loss, but uh, whatever, can that happen? Absolutely, yes. Uh, and so be careful, I mean, always invest in, into and provide liquidity to pools where you're um, 
two things. You're uh, confident that the price level sort of makes sense because obviously the upside of Uniswap uh, we don't see here is all the fees, right? So as days passes, if there are, is there's volume, you accrue fees. And so these fees, for one, they offset maybe the temporary loss that you have. And second, they you know, build your return. Um, so invest in pools where you think the, the price level is, is, uh, is sustainable. And at the, other, at the same time, invest in tokens which you know, look sustainable to you and they're not junk, basically, according to your, your valuation. So if we look at Ethereum here, you know, we started off with two, 200 Ethereum, if you do the sum, uh, and we end up with 64 Ethereum, right? So, you know, the, 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 due to this essentially change in the mix. Uh, now, well, let's imagine the last scenario I want you to, uh, to picture it to understand the, the impermanent loss is what happened if I kept just this asset but outside of Uniswap? And, you know, the same, obviously, price variation happens. So the token price is, you know, goes from $10 to $1, but these assets are kept outside of Uniswap. So basically, the difference is the mix doesn't change, right? So I had 4,100, they stayed 4,100. Now, in terms of value, uh, 4,000 times one is $4,000. Um, the Ethereum are stayed at $400. So basically ended up with 110 Ethereum, right? So from 200 to 110, but instead of from 200 to 64. And now like the difference between these two value is actually the impermanent loss. So the loss that you incur uh, uh, be because of the fact that the mix uh, of the pools changed, changed uh, that, that's sort of called impermanent loss. The reason it's called impermanent is because it's not permanent, uh, meaning like if the price of this token goes back to 10, where it was, the impermanent uh, loss goes back to zero, right? So uh, this, is, this is essentially, I wanted to walk you through. I mean, this is not a, to scare anybody off or, or anything, but like as there is a lot more tokens that are coming up with, uh, with Uniswap, uh, and, and I see because you guys are telling me all the time, oh, can you add this token? What do you think about that token? And, um, you know, I, I have the privilege of talking to you guys via the Uniswap RI uh, tool. Um, I just wanted to point out that you always need to be careful in what you invest. Um, not just look at the uh, projected return of Uniswap. By the way, you can always, I just remind you guys, you can always check what is the projected return of different pools. Here, there is a sort of a specific table where you can see... Uh, the uh, the return projected on uh, due to Uniswap. Don't just look at this, but always look at the quality of the tokens and the assets that you hold. Because um, not just you obviously hold them, uh, and for example, the token, but you also put alongside a sort of a quote unquote collateral in Ethereum that is also at stake if the price of the token uh, fundamentally drastically drops. And uh, so so just be careful about that. And I hope this. Um, answer some of your questions if you have follow-ups comments in in the link below if you like this video like this content regarding uniswap particularly in dexes in general and, and DeFi, uh subscribe to the channel it's, it's great talking to you guys until next time have a great one talk soon